Good morning, everyone. Today is a fun morning because we get to go to back to school to meet the teacher and drop off supplies at the only school we get to do that at, which is elementary school. Right, Ashley? Well, we get to go meet the teacher? Yeah, but I don't really, I already know the teacher. Yeah, no one knows the fourth grade teachers. Um, I still don't, I, if I knew, like, because it's a new teacher, so I don't know how they, like, well, that's why we go meet them. You need me to move the chairs, right, Chelsea? Yeah. No. Yeah. There's some stuff underneath. Just, right, there's those, stuff. just the front ones. But the good thing is that who fell asleep on the couch at 7.30 last night? She did. So we all tiptoed around here and had a quiet night. And she woke up at, what, 10.30? Um, came up. 10 to 11-ish. Yeah. And then she came upstairs and got a melatonin right away. And went back to sleep, and who got out of bed perfectly happy at what, nine o'clock? Nine o'clock this morning. See, you get 12 hours of sleep. When you get it, it just shouldn't start at one in the morning and end at 1 p.m. So now, hopefully, you're gonna be tired again at eight o'clock tonight, correct? Yeah. Because your alarm tomorrow is gonna be harsh if you don't go to bed on time tonight. Okay? So, yes, yeah, school starts tomorrow. <laughs> Look on Chelsea's tomorrow. face. She's like, wait, what? It starts tomorrow? Well, this one might be longer, but they started it earlier. Yes. Normally, we don't go back to school until after Labor Day, so we are about a week early, but it's just the way the, you know, it's just by the calendar goes. So, can you move? <laughs> get yourself, yes, get yourself breakfast. We have to leave here in a half hour. Chelsea, every time. She does it on purpose. Um, Ashley, so let's, let's just put this in the fridge for when you go out and play later on today. She does not have cheer until Thursday. Today is Monday. Yeah, she's happy, she right. needs to. I don't care. So, anyway, we're getting ready and we're gonna go meet her teacher. Ashley, I'm gonna go work on making sure your supplies are all in your bag. And uh, Dad's doing Chelsea's chore. Just do it back I here. Did it mostly. <laughs> <laughs> I finished back. Ashley's chore um, just so we could hurry and get the dishwasher started so that Abby can unload. Abby has to go with us today. What did I come in here for? Abby has to go with us today because she has a yearbook class that starts today. It's just kind of a meet all the students that are in yearbook this year and kind of have a little brief one-on-one -on -one with the class. Cause I don't think they're all in the same like period. So this is just a way to meet the whole, like the whole yearbook staff of students all at the same time. And so she'll be gone all day. Um, we still don't have a car though. So Jason has to go with me, drop me off at Ashley's school, take Abby to her school, come back to get me at Ashley's school. And then I think we're going to go to Costco and hopefully get a call that our car is done. Jason has already been to the dentist this morning and drove by our car at said mechanics and they were just opening. So we know it hasn't been worked on quite yet, but we gotta get that car back or I can't do all of my running around when he goes to work tomorrow. So back to school has officially started. All right, you got your bag? It doesn't seem like you have enough supplies. We need a Clorox wipe from the garage and I don't have any boxes of tissues so we'll have to take that. Is it choking? No, you just pulled my Oh, sorry. Let's go to the car. Just realized we don't have this car. <laughs> so, go out front. Okay, is it weird to be back here? Yeah. <laughs> it's more real once we step onto school grounds, well, right? Well, we actually go, but we got two more days of summer, which was fun. Yeah. But we spent those two days in the car doing nothing. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so, we have the same amount of summer. All right, let's go to school. Don't be a little twit. This is your desk, right? Here's your name. Okay, Ash, how did you like it? Good. All of your friends are in another class. Well, they're right next to me. They're right next to it. So we got to like say hi to them, but she only knows one person. Well, you, do you recognize other kids in yeah, class? there's another, well, there's like a few other people that are I just know other people, but I'm not like friend friends, friends with them. Well, maybe this year you get to become friends with yeah. them. You yeah. know what I mean? That's and the then nice I also thing. know another person from another class. She was, I heard her say she's in my class. So. Oh, okay. okay. I know cool. another person. 
Good. Those in my other class. Yeah. Cool. So you'll you make, make good people. friends. Yeah, you're making good friends. But it was fun to see all her cheerleading friends, and now I recognize them from cheerleading, and it's cute to see them kind of interacting at school, knowing that they have become friends from cheerleading, which is cool. a lot of the reason why I wanted you to do cheerleading, right? It established connections with people in multiple yeah. ways. So yeah. It's good. It's good. So it is 1030 and Ashley just got herself a weekend job. What? She is going to walk the neighbor, a neighbor's dog um, for two different weekends and earn some money. Nice. And the funny thing is I was like, hey, Ashley, do you want to walk Daisy and earn some money? And I was like, do you know who Daisy is? She's like, oh yeah, the black and white. <laughs> <laughs> they all know all the. They dogs all know the dog name. names. She's like, I don't know the no owner's name. Cause Daisy, she like, <laughs> when she sees us walking, she jumps on us, and so we just pet her. Yeah. So we already know her. Yeah. So my friend just asked me. She's like, Would your girls be interested? I'm like, You don't even know. <laughs> yes, they'll be interested. Do you want to go over to her house today, and she'll kind of walk you through what she needs you to do? Yeah, sure. Okay, we'll do that when we get home. Next, we're headed to Costco. Are we really stocking up? Stuff. Up. Like uh, back to school snacks, that kind of stuff. We kind of need to. I think we now, I mean, school starts tomorrow, so I think it's probably a good time to do it. Plus, I, I didn't even make a list. Going, like, it's only going to get more expensive. So. Right. Um, I didn't even make a list, though, so this could be kind of dangerous. Yeah, I could. <laughs> oh, well, it's just money. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Okay. Found this on rebate. And got oranges so far. There's more kids here than I've ever seen. <laughs> I know all the kids are here because they just came from the school. You got mac and cheese, except she pulled it from the bottom what? of the rack. You pulled it from the bottom of the rack. You always pull from the top. I can't get to the top. Then let me help you. All right, I'm just gonna show you here what we got. I got that dip because I'm hungry. <laughs> um, eggs, bananas, cucumbers, oranges. Then we got extra. This is extra for back to school. I always do like something new. For back to school that's that that can't be opened up today I don't okay know uh, and then I'm chips like we got fruit snacks gogurts um, for sn for school lunches along with some orange packs um, and then this is just for our regular pantry stock up we got tortillas um, for Abby and well anyone to make Peanut tortillas butter, banana, yeah, yeah. quesadillas any kind of stuff then more snacks for lunches this for breakfast Jason makes the egg and ham little biscuits Ashley chose the mac and cheese. I also have a two pack of the lasagna down there and the pizzas. We're gonna try and do meals together, hopefully. Now that we're on a schedule. <laughs> now that we're on a schedule, we should be able to. Finally have artichokes. I'm so excited, look how huge that is. I'm gonna have that for lunch today. And then we got milks back there, two packs of um, bagels, lettuce, um, Abby's favorite little apricots down there stocked up on the shampoo and conditioner. They were on rebate. Yeah, they were on rebate. So I think that's it. The blueberries. Oh, and the blueberries and peppers. Okay, they finally have a chocolate. They've only had the caramel ones. Just put it on so here. I guess just put it on top. No, put it, it on Okay, whatever, put it on. Alright, we've been home for a while. We're playing uh, Cover Your Assets with Ashley. And she's like smoking us. She's because got this massive stack. I picked you up. I challenged, uh, you challenged me. I had this card. I placed it in. When Dad challenged me, I, I picked up the card and had Again. It. And then when you challenged me, I picked up the card and had the same card. Ugh, she's like totally smoking us. Fate is on your side. Yes. Um, whose turn is it? Mine. Okay. Challenging Dad. Meanwhile, let me show you the pantry organized in here got all the groceries in i've got all of my cereal buckets all filled up i told them they couldn't have anything else until that one was gone i need to fill up um rice and some of our pasta buckets up here they're kind of empty um this they have some in there but they need to be kind of filled up um but i need to go to the grocery store to get rice and then we kind of have gone through like our snack buckets. And again, I told them we can't eat snacks for school until like the new ones, until these ones are gone. And same down here, we've got some more chips that we need to filter through really quick before we can have those. And actually this one needs to come over here. Did you see this, Ashley? Yeah. I have this little bucket down here for her, all packed up. She can grab something from here. She can grab something from here. 
and then hopefully make a sandwich or get some cheese or something. Are you having one now? No, I'm putting them in the fridge. Oh, so they're cold? Mm -hmm. Good idea. And then um, we already have granola bars stocked up down there. So, got that all cleaned out and now we're playing a game. And we just heard back from the place that's doing our car. Well, we called them a couple hours ago and we're like, hey, just following up to see how you're doing with our car. And they're like, oh, we'll wait, we're waiting for you to bring us the tires. And we're like, they're in the car. We told you that yesterday. All that waste of time. So now they're just barely like doing it. We'll go get Abby from her yearbook meeting at the school and then we'll go get our new, our new car. Our car with new tires on it. Because I couldn't do this week without a car. So I'm very glad that they're getting it taken care of. I won! I did not think I was gonna win. Double check her adding. Four. I have 516,000. 516,000. How many did you get? Oh, she's so bothered right now. <laughs> I'm not. She I'm thought not she had it in the I bag. She had, she Me has too. 475. It was at the oh. end of Yes. yes. And that's where it good job. Came. You did good. I oh, wow. Mama won. Wow. I did not think I was going to win. I started adding up my that. hundred piles and I was like, ooh, I'm over hers. You must have picked up like, some of those little ones. Must have had the little ones there. have little bits in it. Yep. Yeah. And I had like all the 20s. Yeah. All right. That was kind of fun. Well played. All right. We picked up Abby and then just came over to wait over here to get my car. And ran to Walmart. I needed like rice and mayonnaise. I think that I can't get at Costco. Hang on. Through the purse. And uh, got a call that my car is done. So I gotta get my water out. And Jason's paying for the car. So we'll be back in my car. Okay. Here's my new tires. They look nice and purty. We're checking if they put my spare tire away. That goes in the glove box. Box. Need to put those parts away. The plug, where's the plug that goes on that? What? There's a plug that goes over that. It's got it's right there. Oh. Someone knows how to do it. Yeah. Yep. And then these parts, that can this comes out. That goes in here. I can do this up. It's away. too hot right now, but we're gonna put all this stuff away when we're in our garage. But they did it good. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna drive home. Okay. I'll see you there. Okay, do you wanna go say hi to your dad really quick? Or I talked with him the other day. I've talked with him every day for the last like three days. Alright, I'll call and tell him thank you for his help. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Bye. We got our tires done at this little gas station. <laughs> it's like this little miniature mechanic shop right over there. Um, so where da Jason's dad brings his cars to get fixed. A little old school mechanic shop. So finally, his dad's always getting us, trying to get us to use this shop. But in the past, we've always had our friend be able to help us with normal car stuff. So he was quite happy to be able to share his little mechanic with us. I need a new battery for the camera and AC on, I'm too hot. So let's go home and get the kids ready for school tomorrow. We're gonna be on schedule. Oh, also, Ashley gets to go and, uh, I'll turn on the air, it's too hot here. She gets to go and walk a dog, so we'll take you on that little adventure too. You're gonna not want that sweatshirt on, I guarantee you. If we're just going for a five, like five minutes or so, I'm fine. All right, okay. fine. you're gonna go Learn what you need to do to take care of this dog. You gotta earn your money, okay? Yeah. Listen to her carefully. I know. Chelsea and her are gonna, they're gonna both do it, but they'll each get paid for each weekend. I'm feeding and walking. Oh, my battery. My battery. was a workout, 100%. I'm glad I got my workout clothes on. But I started my app. I just used the Apple Health one. Let me go out here. I'm actually gonna go sit down. 
for a second. Um, I started it with 6,000 steps this morning, or this, just now. Um, must have just been all the walking around her school and Costco. Amazing how many steps I got in at Costco. But I'm almost at 10,000. I've got nice. 350 um, to go nice. tonight, which I'll keep doing as I walk around. But um, my goal is 10,000. Hopefully I can do 10,000 on that treadmill and then get more throughout the day. But um, my goal is 10,000 now, and I'm gonna build that up and get better at editing on the computer. And hopefully I can do 20,000. That's a, a far stretch. It's gonna take me a while to like actually get comfortable enough on the treadmill to be able to um, walk and edit at the same time. But I feel good about doing it. It feels so much better than like just sitting there. And yes, I'm a sweaty mess right now. I've already like my, wiped my face like five times. But it feels good. So, if you need this for your motivation. I was just talking to a friend yesterday, the other day, and he was like, if you need any extra motivation, I was like, no, I have, I have all of you guys to motivate me, and hopefully I can motivate you guys. He motivates me too, but, you know, sometimes you need some lady friend motivation. Yeah, Are I'm you? like, dude, get up and start on your treadmill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you gonna work out tonight, or are you? Gonna... I, I want to, but I was trying to help the kids either with their lunches or with dinner. Nobody says that they want food right now. I know, right now. so that's the problem. Ooh, it's fun. You want to go get on it? Yeah, it's fun. Put shoes on. I don't need shoes. Yes, you do. I want to sleep. Anyway, I'm gonna cool down. I'm not gonna shower tonight. I may do it in the morning if I get on it again. But I'm gonna listen to. Oh, they're in. <laughs> they're in my ear. I'm gonna listen to my book and uh, get cool down here just a little bit and then figure out dinner. It's quarter to six. We need to like I have get to on a dinner it. time routine. I know. I wanted to make a, a lasagna and no one wanted it. I can make rice and the wonton things for us. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, probably. But I could like lower the flies at midnight. Okay. Okay. Back in a minute. Okay. I am walking out to get my Oh, the door hit me. To get my last steps. I am about to hit 10,000 steps today. And maybe I've gotten them in the past. I don't know. Oh, I gotta get it to update. I have 22 steps to do. Let's just let's just go back and forth while I talk here. Um, I have 22 steps until I'm at 10,000. Maybe it's a simple goal, but I've heard... Oh, it just did it. It just did it. Let me show you. I did it. Actually, walking out here got me the extra 22 steps. So, I did it. But you can see, let me show you other days. No, it won't do it. I don't know. Goals can be small. And then as you accomplish small goals, then you make them bigger. And that's, that's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to start with 10,000 steps a day. And I feel great right now. I feel like I want to go take a shower and watch Bachelorette tonight, but I also feel like I can because I literally have only sat, I've only sat down to eat my meals and which is two meals today and to sit in the car. Literally the only time I've sat today. So I feel like I can get up and going um, a whole lot more as I get used to editing on the computer. Today I kind of went fast when I was walking because I ended up not having very much to edit with the current video. One, because I'm not done filming it. I'm, I was editing today's video. But also because it ended up just being talking for the most part. And I don't end up having to edit a ton when it's just continuous talking. But like when it was a cheerleading video, I'm having to change the volume and I'm changing the speed or it's cleaning and I'm had, having, having to add music and editing out all my ums and I didn't have to do that today. So it was easier to edit. So I ended up just walking while I listened to the video, which was 15 minutes so far from what I edited. Um, and then I just watched two YouTube videos on online just to keep walking because I didn't have anything left to edit. So in the future, I think there's going to be more to edit. So I'm going to slow down and edit for longer periods of time. And hopefully, even though I'm going to slow the speed down, I'm going to walk more because I'm going to be on it for longer. 
and I won't be getting that high sweat and like tiredness that I had today, which was fine today because I needed to just, I needed to get a workout in today versus just walking to edit. So, okay, ran out of disc space on my camera, but the lighting is way better outside. So we're gonna come out here to end our video. I don't know where it cut me off, but um, I am just going to keep working at this. Someone walked by right when I pulled out the camera. So awkward. And they're literally like so close to my porch. So I am motivated to keep doing this and keep improving my health. And I feel good right now. And I feel like I deserve to just sit down and relax and watch TV. Whereas other days I'm like, I feel kind of guilty to do that because I've already been kind of lazy sitting at my desk. But um, I deserve it tonight. And I hope you guys are motivated and let me know how else I can motivate you. I will try and get outside and go for more walks just while the weather is good. It would be nice to, um, to be able to get out. Tomorrow it's going to be 92 degrees. Today was like 88, but it felt like it was like 95. <laughs> so I don't think I'm gonna go out into that heat unless I get motivated to go in the morning. After the kids get on the bus, I might go in the morning and just be enjoy being outside because I don't really have any other plans tomorrow. But, because I know that you guys enjoy like seeing me walk through nature because we, we live in such a beautiful area. So I want to take advantage of being able to walk outside both for myself before the rain hits and also to show you guys just nice scenery and show you why we love living here. So we just need to have the heat kind of tamper down just a little bit <laughs> and then, um, but now I have a backup plan for the rest of the year and into next year of being able to walk and stay active during the rainy months. So take care you guys and I hope that's you're doing, I hope that you're doing great and some of you message and you know, you're going through some hard things, but you're also going through some good things. Um, congrats to the great grand baby that was born just the other day. You know who you are. Congratulations. That's so fun. Um, and you know, other people have gone through some hard trials and health issues and just know that we are always thinking of you guys. Um, I don't want to call you out on the channel because I don't want that's personal information for you guys. Just know that we're always thinking of you and, um, and you know, no matter if it was good or bad, the things that you're going in your life, you're a part of our world as well. We think of you. So take care and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. the magic places in the world I've been to this is where my heart is oh you know it's true no matter where I go I'm coming home to you